Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I've got the cue with the eye. So I think the only way I can get rid of that is by playing Chi. Yeah, Chi for 22. Well, no bingo here, but it feels fairly close to one. Could there be an eight through the right floater? Well, let me consider the current eye on the board. I think a logic is good, but it doesn't take an S. And opponents has not provided useful floaters. Not seeing anything with the U. Jun only takes a K. And the J doesn't give me a bingo. So how about a parallel play? And what about Clags? 37 points. The S is getting 14 points, so definitely worth burning. It's used, it's worth about 8 to 10. So I am going with this. Dahlia. Wow. Does that play? Not on the board at the moment. Quite a an unfriendly board for bingos. Q only takes an I. Ah, oh, fantastic. Opponent has just made the dream move. AI takes an R in front. So I have Dahlia for 69. Wow, what a pick. I draw the first blank and the rest of the rack is fairly balanced. Slightly vowel heavy and with a Y, so I may not have a bingo, but I'm not far off one. Probably slightly hampered by the lack of floaters on the board. But could there be a seven here? If so, it will probably play. But is it close enough to spend time looking? Just looking at the V. Floating consonants likely to be more useful than floating vowels. D also available. And the L. I'm going to have a quick squiz through the alphabet. But I'm not going to spend too long on this. I'm not optimistic of there being a bingo. And even if there is, I may not spot it. Nothing so far. Still nothing. No. Okay, so how to sort the rack out? Well, playing off the Y and the O. Seems like a good idea. And what about going further and playing yoga? 27 points. The alternative would be to play oi. Retaining A and G. So this is 27. This is 23. I think this is better. This feels like a pretty handy five letter set. Now, is there anywhere even better for the Y? Covey is good. What about J A Y? No, I think this is fine, and I'm setting up a new lane, which I may be able to benefit from. Okay, so has that play paid off? Not sure it has. And it's the lack of floating consonants, which is really problematic. However, I do have the A for going in front of U. So... I should be able to score down here. Now, is there really no bingo here? I don't think so. I'm not going to go through the alphabet. So what I have is Gore. 30 points, which is pretty good. Pretty poor, Rackley. Super vulnerable to vowels. But if I draw consonants, quite bingo-y. And I can't see anything better than Gore. So I am going with this. Well, I have a scoring tile, which is good. 
Can I play off some vowels with it? Now, I have the K for junk, but Clags has shut that down as a super hot lane. Just six points for opponent. Could be nursing a five-letter powerhouse. So I'm looking to play off at a minimum K double O. Wow, I can do that, but for a dismal score, just eight points. But I do lead, and I have a blank. And I can't see anywhere else to play off K double O, so this is the best possible rack leave I can hope to achieve. I'm going, ah, Jake is good. I'm going with look. Still vowel heavy. I'm beginning to regret the gore play. Maybe yoga would have been... Sorry, the oi play. Maybe yoga would have been better. But I am fortunate with these vowel heavy racks that I am getting scoring tiles. I didn't score very well off the K. But many times one would. And with this rack I have the H. So I'm in a similar position. High oi is good which would leave me with one fewer vowel than in my last couple of moves. Dullia takes nothing after it, and Chi only takes an N or an S, so this triple letter square below the A, not particularly useful. Now V, v takes a U in front, which I don't have. Great, just 10 points for opponent, fantastic. So, what do I do? I could play Hoi and He, 22 points, or high oi, putting an O next to this double letter square, but with a better rack leave. Wow, and those appear to be my options. I'm minded to go with the play with the better rack leave. Opponent has been signalling that they've got a good, good rack leave for the last couple of moves, so playing HOI, sticking an I in the middle of column 15, doesn't feel like a good thing to do. I'm going with this. Well, surely I'm bingoing now, and I am. I have Thenage, which plays in column 12, where opponents has played, but also in column 3. So, do I have anything better than Thenage? In particular, anything which begins or ends with an E. So that would could be the A-G-E ending. Let me run through the alphabet with an extra E on my rack and see if any bingo comes to mind. Not seeing anything so far. Wow, these feel close. This is my Thenage rack, but I'm not seeing anything with an extra E. Nope, nothing there. Still nothing. Okay, well, I don't see a bingo in column 15. So I have Thenage down here, the H is getting doubled, Thenage for 81, pretty good, this looks jolly close to a bingo, I have Twaits on my rack, but not many 7 letter lanes on the board, so I'm not seeing anywhere for that at the moment. Do I have anything with this rack plus an E? I have the I-E-S-T ending. Not seeing anything. So where are the floaters? Let me consider the consider the Thenage floaters. Well, opponent's taken that out. Has he provided a Twaits spot? I don't think he has. Ah, well. I th I'm not sure if Hyoi takes an S, but in any event, Twaits doesn't play. But does Twaits have the anagram of Tortius? I think it does. So... If Hyoi takes an S, and I'm, I've decided it does, then this works. Yes, fantastic. And I have Turbaned in column 15. Amazing. 
does I think Turban is opponent's gone there, but I think Turban has bred nut as an anagram, which plays in row N. Nice bingo for opponent, including the Z, but fortunately for me, not tripled. So let's see if this is fanciful on my part. And it's not. Fantastic. So I have a 200 point lead. Through an R, I would have Diapod. What else do I have? Well, this board is looking super, super choked now, apart from the seven letter lanes in rows M and O. Outsizes takes nothing in front. The whole of the top of the board is dead. So I think a lot of the action is going to be in and around bread nut. And I played that fairly quickly. I'm not sure there were many alternative spots to consider, but maybe I should have considered them. So I still lead by 200. Opponent has not played in the bottom of the board, so I most certainly am going to. Up is good. 10 tiles left. So I have pied for 31, and TI takes nothing in front, so this is absolutely killing the board stone dead in terms of bingo lanes. And I continue to draw well, very bingo -y tiles, but an absolutely dead board. Look at the remaining vowels, just an E and a quasi-vowel in the Y. My opponent is certainly having the worst of it. Fantastic. So, what am I to do here? Now, there is a floating N, but that doesn't assist. There's also a seven-letter lane in row K, so this board isn't totally bingo dead, but it would require significant overlaps. Now, opponent plays bro for 10. Four tiles left. He's just not going to benefit from row A, so I might as well leave that alone for me. What to do here? Perhaps boast about my surfeit of vowels to opponent. I can play OE for 20. O can go in front of B, but not many bingos end O. But... An A can go in front of the B, and I'm retaining that. I don't think I'm going to score more than more than 20 points elsewhere. Ideally, one would leave one in the bag. Is there a way of doing that and opening a lane that only I can use? Interesting. I could play deaf. Interesting. What about playing deaf? Retaining a lot of vowels, but I'm almost certain to draw two consonants. Almost certain. And now column one is only available for me. So whether or not I've got a bingo, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm going with this, and it's, it's about the same number of points as OE as well. Well, not, not so great in the sense that there isn't a bingo here. However, what about my plan? Now, opponent is down to six tiles, so not bingoing. I don't have a bingo. Just checking with the Y. Not seeing anything there. So, can I get my X in column one or row eight? Tricky. Column one is more likely. DE only takes an O. Well, I have XO. Let me provisionally put that in. Am I going to go out with PRAN? Which isn't a word. And I don't think PYRAN is either. It's PYRANOID. So 34 points there. Is there a better spot for the X? I've got the AX spot, but I can't get the X to score twice. Now, the play in column one doesn't have to end in O. It could end OR. 
or OP. Let me just put OR in and see if anything jumps to mind. Wow, through a D I would have Expandor. I'm not seeing anything there. Eight minutes on my clock. Viney takes an L, opponent's got an L. Ah, what about playing Apex down here? 52 points, that's more like it. Am I going to go out with Nor? Yes, in column one, which opponent can't block. I am going with this. Wow, over 500 points. Amazing. So where's the best possible spot for Nor? And I don't think there are any other three-letter plays with this set of tiles. Nine points in column one. The UV hook never used. My opponent has not created a new spot for me. Seven minutes on my clock. I've got Nor in row K. I'm also looking for, for longer plays. But not seeing them. Okay, well I could be missing something here, but never mind. And the final score, 256 for my opponent, 555 for me, a winning margin of 299 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, nearly 300 points. And could it have been 300 points? I just needed one more point from my final move. Now, it was me to go fast, and I played Chi. Opponent's rack plays Jun. And I play Clags. That looks fine. Wow, all these vowels, which opponent plays through. Setting up Dullier, which was a great spot for me. There was no other. Opponent plays Cove. Oh, wow, missed bingo. Ideology in row E through the L. Well done if you spotted that. Not a five vowel eight. And I, this was where I was debating between oi and yoga and there was a, a bingo there. Okay, so I play oi. Interesting, I could have stuck an E on the end of that. Let me go back. Could have played the E, which would have helped with the vowel consonant balance. So I think that may have been the best, the better of those options. Now, opponent struggling with vowels, continues to play through. No bingo here. Interesting, I play Gore for 30. Agio for 24. I think Gore is better. Opponent's rack plays VAE. And I have a bit of a horror show here. And I play Look, keeping EIO blank. And some of these plays possibly slightly better. E6. Oik and oik. Yeah, I think the score, the score excess overlook justifies the duplicate O. So I don't think look was best. <coughs> now, airsome. Opponent doesn't spot it, so missed bingo, but it's a jolly hard seven to see. I've, I've had that come up a few times and I've always been jolly relieved when I've spotted it. And it sometimes takes me a while in my card box. Now this is where I play high oi for 14, only six or eight more points better and this leaves the best rack leave. No bingo for opponent, plays phone. And now I have thenage and that's the only bingo. Wow. Opponent's rack plays fair. And look at this, Taurus, the only bingo, and straight out of the bag. And I was so close to missing that. I saw Twait straight away and didn't think it had an anagram, but revisited and revisited it in my mind and saw Taurus. Now, great bingo by opponent without sizes. Could have retained the blank for 19 fewer points. My rack... And I have bread nut, which I think is the third bingo on the trot. Thenage, Toriest, and bread nut. So an amazing run of tile picking. 
And look at this, a poor opponent at drowning in consonants after the start of the game. He was drowning in vowels. Plays mock, which means that I get to play at the bottom here. And I could have played aped, which would have been a better play. It would have scored slightly more. The opponent plays bro. Phew, no missed bingo here. And these are all long bag emptying moves. So I don't like any of them. And I play deaf for 19. Opponent plays viney. And here we go. I play apex for 52. And that was the highest scoring play. Opponent plays Bren. And now here, the moment of truth. I score nine points for Nor. I needed 10 to win by a margin of 300. Was there a 10 point play? Yes, there was. J14, Torn, Yar with double R and Pen. Plus intro, H8. Wow, tricky one. I-N-T-R-O, making rain. And those two moves would have given me a margin of 300 points. Instead, I went with Nor for nine and missed that by one. But in any event, an absolutely amazing game. Very rare to get a winning margin of such a, a large amount. A 200 margin is fantastic, but a 300 one happens very rarely. So absolutely delighted to get one or one very close to that on this on this video. So many thanks to my opponent for a great game. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.